Welcome to Scorpion Maths video on the identity matrix. In this video, we're going to focus on the 2x2 two two identity matrix. And the 2x2 two two identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. And it's shown by an I. So I equals the identity matrix equals 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the identity matrix. Let's have a look at see why it's interesting or why it's useful. So let's look at multiplying the identity matrix by a matrix. So we've got A, which is equal to 4, 3, minus 1, 5. And we've got the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And let's multiply these two matrices together. So we'll write down our A, which is equal to 4, 3, minus 1, 5. And we're going to times that by 1, 0, 0, 1. If you need a recap of multiplying two by two matrices together, I highly recommend watching the Corbett Maths video on it. It's fantastic and it'll help you understand a recap how to multiply those matrices together. Okay, so let's have a look at doing this now. So, first of all, we're gonna multiply the first row by the first column. So we're gonna do four times one. So let's write that down, four times one. And then we add together three times zero. So plus three times zero. So we'll work that out in a second, okay? So four, actually we'll just do it now. So that's gonna be equal to four times one is four. 3 times 0 is 0, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. Next, so we're now going to do the first row times the second column. So we're going to do 4 times 0, so 4 times 0. And we're going to add 3 times 1, so 3 times 1. And when we work that out, well, 4 times 0 is 0, 3 times 1 is equal to 3, and 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Next, we're now going to move on to the second row. So we're going to do the second row times the first column. So it's going to be minus 1 times 1, so minus 1 times 1, and add together 5 times 0. And when we do that, minus 1 times 1 is equal to minus 1, plus, and 5 times 0 is 0, so that would be minus 1. And finally, the second row times the second column, so minus 1 times 0, plus 5 times 1, so 5 times 1. And when we do that, minus 1 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 1 is 5, add them together will be 5, and that's it. So when we multiply the matrix A, 4, 3, minus 1, 5, by the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, the density matrix, we get the answer 4, 3, minus 1, 5. And you may notice that's just equal to A. So that means we can say that A times I is just equal to A. So if we multiply the matrix A by the density matrix, we'll get the matrix A again. Okay, let's have a look at what happens whenever we multiply the matrices, uh, matrices the other way around. So instead of doing AI, let's see what happens when we do IA. And interestingly, normally whenever you multiply matrices together, the order is important. So let's see what we happen whenever we multiply I and A together. So I is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. And we're going to multiply that by A, which is equal to 4, 3, minus 1, 5. And when we do that, we get, well, again, the first row times the first column. So that'll be 1 times 4, which is 4, and 0 times minus 1, which is 0, and add them together, that'll be 4. 1 times 3 is 3, and 0 times 5 is equal to 0. So add them together, and that'll be 3. 0, so we're now moving on to the second row times the first column. So that's going to be 0 times 4, which is 0, 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1. And then finally, the second row times the second column, 0 times 3 is 0, and 1 times 5 is 5. And again, we've got the matrix. So when we multiply these matrices together, A and I, it doesn't matter which way around you multiply the identity matrix and a matrix, you'll always get that over a matrix. So let's have a look at a question now. So here we've got a question. It says A is equal to the matrix minus 1, 3, minus 2, 5. And B is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix X, Y, 2, Z. And the question says, given A, B, so A times B, is equal to the identity matrix, work out the values of X, Y, and Z. So we're going to have to work out these values of X, Y, and Z. Now we know that whenever we multiply these two matrices together, we're going to get the density matrix. But obviously looking at this algebra, we're not just going to simply get 1, 0, 0, 1. We're going to have to multiply these two matrices together. So let's do that to begin with. So let's find out what the matrix A, B is equal to. So we're going to multiply here the first row by the first column. So we're going to do minus 1 times x. So minus 1 times x is equal to minus x. And then we're going to do 3 times 2. And 3 times 2 is equal to 6, so plus 6. Now we're going to do the first row times the second column. So we're going to do minus 1 times y, so that's minus y. And then 3 times z, so that's plus 3z. Next, we're going to move on to the second row. And we're going to do the second row times the first column. So minus 2 times x, so that's minus 2x. And then we're going to do two, uh, 5 times 2, and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 
And finally, the second row times the second column, minus 2 times y is minus 2y, and 5 times z would be equal to 5z. Put the matrix A B is equal to minus x plus 6, minus y plus 3z, minus 2x plus 10, and minus 2y plus 5z. But we know that this from the question that's equal to the density matrix. So we know that's equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. So we know this is equal to 1, we know that this is equal to 0, we know that this element is equal to 0, and we know that this element is equal to 1. So let's work out what the missing values are. Let's work out what x, y, and z are. So let's first, so first of all start off with the top left. So minus x plus 6 is equal to 1. Well, subtracting 6 from both sides, well, that give us minus x equals 1 take away 6 is minus 5, so that's minus 5. Now we've got minus x is equal to minus 5. We can multiply this through by negative 1, and when we do that, it changes the signs and we get x equals 5. Now, actually, if we look at this bottom left hand corner, this bottom left hand element, this one, minus 2x plus 10, if x is equal to 5, minus 2 times 5 is minus 10, plus 10 is 0. So we know that that must be true. So we've got that x is equal to 5. Fantastic. Now we're going to look at this element here, this minus y plus 3z. We know that's equal to 0. So minus y plus 3z is equal to 0. And we've got this um, element here, this minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 1. So we're going to have simultaneous equations here. Minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 1. And let's solve these simultaneous equations. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2. So multiply this by 2. And that will give us minus 2y plus 6z equals 0. And we're going to take these two equations away from each other because we want to cancel out these minus 2y's. So when we subtract those, minus 2y minus minus 2y, that means we're going to add 2y, so that's going to cancel out. That's going to be 0, which is going to cancel out. Then we've got 5z take away 6z. Well, 5z take away 6z is minus z. And we've got 1 subtract 0, and 1 subtract 0 is equal to 1. So we've got minus z is equal to 1. So that must mean that z is equal to minus 1, multiplying through by minus 1, changing the signs. So we've got z is equal to minus 1. Now we need to find out what y is. So let's substitute this back into one of the equations. Let's put it back into the top one. So we're going to put the substitute it, uh, z is equal to minus 1 into this equation. Minus y plus 3z is equal to 0. So that will give us minus y. And then 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. So minus 3 is equal to 0. Add 3 to both sides of the equation. So we're going to get minus y is equal to 3. And then change the sign so y is equal to minus 3. So that's our answer. x is equal to 5 y is equal to minus 3, and z is equal to minus 1. So just to recap, the density matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. That's a 2 by 2 density matrix. And sometimes we are asked to use it in questions, and you might need to know that i is equal to the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And if you multiply a by the matrix i, so if you do a times i, you're going to get a, or if you do i times a, you're going to get a as well. So if you multiply a matrix by the density matrix, you just get what that matrix would be. Okay, that's it.